wonder why some children are well organized and have an easier time adapting to change than others? It's a result of how certain skills develop in our brains at a young age. Scientists call these skills executive function and self-regulation, which can be thought of like air traffic control in the child's mental airspace. Think of a young child's brain as the control tower at a busy airport. All those planes landing and taking off and all of the support systems on the ground simultaneously demand the controller's attention to avoid a crash. It's the same with a young child learning to pay attention, plan ahead, cope with frustration, and follow lots of rules. When executive functioning skills are working well, they're invisible. It's not like you see them in action <laughs> because they enable children to be a good student, to be a good friend, to learn well. So they're just kind of hidden. It's really when they break down or when a child is really challenged by these capacities, hasn't, hasn't had a chance to develop them very well, that you see problems. Kids with well-developed executive function can deal with day-to-day -day worries, temptations, and obligations that pile up in their minds. They have the skills to regulate the flow of information and prioritize tasks. Executive function is one of the ways we manage stress and maintain an even keel, even as demands on our attention start to pile up. Kids who haven't developed strong executive function have a harder time directing mental traffic. Without the ability to prioritize, thoughts pile up and collisions occur, leading to frustration and anxiety. First of all, we aren't born with executive functioning skills. Executive functioning skills are capacities that we learn. It's very important that children be in relatively pr predictable, unchaotic uh, environments <laughs> that are free of toxic stress because when we are surrounded by chaos and disorganization and especially if we're surrounded by fear and anxiety and a world that feels threatening, it's very hard for children to acquire these kinds of capacities. Like most skills, good executive function depends on a strong brain foundation that develops in our earliest years of life. Caregivers can help by setting a good example with their own behavior, practicing serve and return interactions, and preventing toxic stress. As kids grow up through their preschool years and even into their teens, a stable, predictable environment will help them develop good executive function skills. The executive functioning skills can be trained and taught. You do not have to give up on a child <laughs> who has these problems. There are very sensitive periods during the ages from about two to five or six, and again during adolescence. Um, when these um, skills seem to be kind of growing by leaps and bounds. So you have a, a couple of opportunities and ideally do both. The human brain is an amazing thing. With practice, it can learn to pay attention, plan ahead, prioritize, and react to events as they unfold, just like the air traffic control tower at our busy airport. With help from the community, kids can learn the skills they need to thrive in a challenging world.